So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. We're still here in Lancaster County filming some a couple different covered bridges. We were at Welsh Mountain early this morning. This is Oberholzer's Mill Covered Bridge, or sometimes known as Red Run Covered Bridge. This one is on private property. It's a, there's a campground here. I think the name of it's right here. I don't know if we'll be able to get on this one. It looks like it's gated off, but we're going to check it out anyway. Do what we can. Yeah, this is Red Run Campground. So we're going to head over here and see what we can see. Yeah, so there's a bunch of people camping off to our left. Yeah, this one's locked. They're using it for storage. But you still get a look down through there. Got the Burr Arch Truss. Yeah, I think this is about 107 feet long. And I think 1866 it was built by Elias McMillan. But yeah, this one's been a while since someone's, this one's seen any repairs. Look at that old, old board. I'd love to drive across this one, but yeah. There's a look at it. Let's see if we gotta get a view from the side. All right, let's get down over here. Ooh, that's a nice, that is a nice view right there. Yeah, yeah, those are the original abutments, original stonework. You might, you might notice something odd, there's no creek. Well, there's a little tiny creek flowing under here, but the creek, oh, the creek was diverted at one point. And at this, there's a modern day bridge right there. I think that's the bridge, but the creek, yeah, no longer flows under here, but the bridge was never moved. I recall this is its original location. So there will be no steel support beams under here. At least there shouldn't be, yeah. Yes, this is all original under here. But yeah. Try not to film the campers. But yeah, so there's no creek under here anymore. Kind of interesting. Cool. But still a cool shot of the bridge, though. Probably be a bit of a shorter video since I can't really walk across it at all. But that's, it is what it is. At least we can get a, at least we can visit it and get a cool shot here. We'll take one more look on the inside. You know, even though it's not accessible, it's not falling into complete ruin, though. It is, I think it's fairly protected. That roof looks pretty new, so it is being preserved. But it would be cool if you could go across it, though, since there's a campground here. I don't know, just a thought. But that'll be it for this video then, folks. Like I said, a little bit shorter one since we can't actually explore the bridge itself, but it is what it is, though. But on to the next one. I have one more to visit today. I forget the name of it offhand. But anyway, I'll let you know in a moment, maybe. Well, in the next video. Anyway, thanks for coming along.